Hi hey YouTube, I wanted to make a quick video on how to fix this uh, problem, the AC problem on this vehicle. Uh, it took me a while to figure it out. Um, at first, um, I checked the uh, refrigerant level, it was good. I thought it was uh, the um, AC pressure switch, but that was not it. The compressor was good, uh, all the pressures were good, but the AC was not coming on. Um, when I scanned it with the computer, I have a scanner here. Uh, this is the launch um, 919X. Very good uh, scanner. I also have a video on this doing a, a review. Check it out. So when I scanned it on this with this, it was giving me problems with the body control module and uh, it was also giving me problems with the uh, uh, ABS and uh, a lot of different uh, codes. It also gave me a fault for AC clutch uh, relay and that was not the problem, the relay was fine. I manually put power uh, from the, I jumped the relay manually and the clutch would engage but I just was not getting the signal uh, to the uh, relay to activate the, the clutch so I knew there was a problem there I thought it, at first I thought it was a bad um, body control module but that was not it so with this scanner uh, this one in particular uh, you might have different uh, scanners out there uh, this one is a launch like I was saying um, this scanner is a bi-directional scanner which means that you can read faults and also communicate with the uh, systems in the vehicle you, know, you can communicate with the modules uh, you can talk to them you can uh, activate the the wipers you can lower the windows uh, you can in this case uh, activate the AC so I was able to activate uh, the AC from here but the AC will still not come on and uh, I kept doing some more research and what I found is that sometimes when the vehicle battery goes dead completely or it drops be below a certain uh, voltage it can uh, somehow uh, uh, hurt the, the communication you know damage the communication between the body control module and other modules in the vehicle and to fix that problem you have to reset the battery okay and uh, you might be able to reset the battery manually by jumping the two cables um, I don't know if that will work for this particular vehicle or other vehicles but in this case uh, like I was saying this scanner in particular has a reset um, a feature and it has about 31 resets it has uh, the air filter reset, brake reset, oil reset, steering angle sensor reset, and battery reset, and a whole bunch of others. But the one that you want to do is battery reset. Okay? So when I reset it, when I reset the, the battery, all the faults went away completely I had a whole bunch of faults like I was saying and I was resetting them resetting them through the uh, you know like erasing the faults like you would normally do with uh, you know every time you find a, a vehicle that this that has a problem see this one is a the transit connect quick access so this one in particular, I reset the faults, but they will keep coming on. So when I 
reset the compute the battery the fault went away completely and the AC started working again perfectly and that's what I wanted you know it was it really it really took me a while to figure it out and I didn't find anything on Google or anywhere to say that said about anything about resetting the battery so I was able to to do that let me see if I can just show you real quick in here well now it's not gonna have any any faults because I already fixed all of them so see I got special functions uh, health reports so right there it's scanning the entire vehicle all the modules are being scanned right now and um, see I had a bunch of faults okay see clear code when I was clearing the codes they will still remain the body control module the uh, ABS and others were on we're still on so the the power control module also was staying on but after resetting the battery that did the trick so if you're having an AC problem on a Ford uh, it's, whether it's a Transit, a Taurus um, what I'm trying to think F-150, F-350 uh, all of those fusion and the AC doesn't work try resetting the battery try resetting the battery first before you go crazy okay you might need a scanner you know if you don't have one uh, ask a friend for one this one in particular it was uh, four hundred dollars with tax on Amazon which it's uh, pretty affordable compared to other scanners out there that go for fifteen hundred dollars and uh, this one look it even has a camera with a flash the C this is a 919X from launch very good scanner I definitely recommend it watch my video on uh, on the uh, review that I did on this scanner and uh, check it out also please give me a thumbs up it really helps my channel and subscribe if you haven't done so yet I have uh, many videos coming up so hopefully you enjoy this one thank you